Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, ResetCharters.com, and or ResetCharters.com is actually currently uh, in the works, but you can find us on Facebook if you want. Um, that's Facebook page is not really important. Uh, the website is where all the information is going to be. So um, I own a detailing product line, a detailing service based out of Tampa, Florida. Also, I have Reset Charters, which is a jet ski adventure tour company. So we take people out just enjoying the waters of Tampa Bay and the surrounding waterways. We um, take them scalloping, we take them, we do some fishing charters, we do all kinds of different stuff, uh, but it's all about having a great time on the water. Uh, we're down here, uh, the girlfriend and I are down here in Key Largo, Florida uh, today. Uh, we're at Key Largo Campground. The place is beautiful. Um, a little cramped, but quite beautiful. Uh, their marina is really nice uh, to get in and out. Uh, we opted to keep the trailer uh, at our campsite and keep the ski on the trailer instead of tying it up to their dock and letting it get all beat up. They are those plastic floating docks, so if you wanted to do something like that, I'm sure it would be fine. I just personally don't want my stuff sitting in the water overnight. Um, so this is my 2018 SeaDoo GTX 300 Limited, uh, which you guys have seen before. About, I would say about three weeks ago now, I coated this bad boy uh, with my brand new Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid Boost. I think you're getting all of me, but I will uh, bring the camera up just in case. Um, so my Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid Boost is all over this thing. I opted not to go with the Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid coating, the actual coating, because the boost is so easy to use. It does last and last and last. It gives you awesome technology, fantastic protection, crazy hydrophobic ability. You can see everything beat up, all the water beat up. This thing now in salt water is slammed with salt all over it. And because I wanted to shoot this video, I didn't spray it down right when I pulled it out of the water. I wanted some of this salt to dry on the surface so I can shoot a video and show you guys how awesome the Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid Boost is on the surface of all of this uh, gel coat, or should I say the acrylic overlay, uh, the CM Tech material on this particular ski. Uh, the uh, Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid Boost is not going to damage your, your finish. In fact, it's going to protect it, uh, especially with regular maintenance uh, for the life of the ski. Uh, for uh, you, I sell it in an eight ounce bottle. The eight ounce bottle will basically do, if you're doing uh, just your jet ski, you're gonna use maybe an eighth of an ounce. If you're doing a regular size car with that stuff, you're gonna use about a quarter of an ounce. Uh, but I heavily spray it on, wipe it in, no problem. I do the seat with it, all the plastics, uh, the trim, the bumpers, especially all of the uh, CM Tech material. So without further ado, this is how I go about um, basically flushing out the motor. I got my hose. I twist it backwards three or four times. That way when I go to... Uh, when I go to hook it up to the port here on the back of the engine, or I'm sorry, the back of the ski, I can just stick it right in there where it's not th cross threaded and then just let it naturally go back to normal here on the hose. And then obviously with the sea -Doo, they recommend that you start the engine and then you can uh, turn the water on. So I'm gonna do just that. All right, start her up. Now, with the engine running, I'll turn the water on. Each use in salt water 
or foul water. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let it run for just a few, well, probably about a minute, minute and a half. While that's happening, I'm gonna take you off the tripod. I'm just gonna walk you over to the ski. And one of the things I do before I actually wash everything off the ski is I like to take all my gear out and set it on the ground. We went snorkeling today uh, to Christ of the Abyss uh, out way out off the coast of John Pennekamp National Park. So that's running. I got snorkels. I got a cooler down there. I mean, there's tons of room in this GTX. All kinds of stuff just came out of there. Huge cooler. I mean, this is a 24 can cooler. I really love this thing too. I, I'm not sponsored by AO coolers, but this cooler is amazing. I also have the 36 can. All right. That's ran enough for my liking and I grabbed everything out of the uh, out of the uh, storage compartment. So what I'm gonna do now for you is, TD recommends one and a half to two minutes of flush. Then you wanna turn the water off and allow it to continue to run and then hit the throttle and push whatever else out. All right, so the water's off. Let it run for a second. Let everything that's in there run back out, and then I'm gonna hit the throttle and push the rest out. interesting guys throwing out junk so we're gonna check the intake grate which I'm positive has a ton of seaweed in it there we go for sure it does so gotta get all that shit out of there too anyway it's all clean now so it was shooting stuff out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and start it back up real quick. All right. Now, some of you guys, some of you uh, know-it-alls are gonna tell me, oh, well you're, you let it run too long or you revved it too long. First of all, I don't really care um, if she blows up. I'll just go f have it fixed. I'm not real worried about it. Um, but beyond that, I've been doing the same thing to skis that I've had for 20 years. I currently own nine skis. Seven of them are sea -Doo, So um, what I do with them is awesome because I really never have had any issues related to how I clean a ski up after I get out of the water. So um, that's how I do it. I hope that you guys uh, appreciate just, I guess, the affirmation that what you're doing is correct because I'm sure most of you guys do it like I do it anyway. So anyway, clean that intake grate out, run the water through the motor. Man, it's hot down here. It's hot in Tampa too, but we're definitely closer to the uh, equator down here. So anyway, the next step is I'm gonna put this nozzle right here spray nozzle on the hose and then I'm gonna give you guys a close-up on the uh, CM tech material so you can see I don't know if you can see all those spots I'm sure you can all the salt all over this thing Yeah.
Yeah, all those white spots, that's all salt. So the way I handle that is just like I'm about to show you. All right, turn the water back on. Hose is charged. I, I don't even bother actually washing it after I've applied the ceramic acrylic stuff. All I do is hose it down. I do like to dip a, uh, a styrofoam cup into the foot wells and remove all of the salt deposit from there. But the Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Boost, and you'll see, I keep this stuff in the ski, just in case I'm not at home and I wanna apply more, I guess. So uh, this is the product, it comes with a mini sprayer. I applied it, like I said, around three weeks ago, and it definitely does not need another application. And you'll, you'll notice, you probably can see from here how well uh, the ski is beating up but the surface tension is increased to the point where with this stuff it's increased to the point where contaminants can't bond so all the salt can do when it's when the water dries is is sit on top of this stuff and so as soon as you add water to basically um, emulsify the salt back into the water uh, you can remove it with no problem just the water pressure alone will remove it uh, this definitely helps keep the surface cleaner longer, for sure. Um, especially in your heavy duty salt water ap applications. I just spend a lot of time just making sure I'm, you know, hosed everything out. want to undo your drain plugs make sure that's good to go another thing before I forget um, I already sprayed the engine down but these two products so this is a derivative of the ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating this has a very similar technology this and the ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating are on the same levels as far as protection goes this actually has more of uh, a polymer in it so that uh, it will hydrate gel coat so generally on gel coat this is going to be your better option on the cm tech material which is an acrylic overlay all right so the battery died while i was showing you guys the difference so We've got the ceramic, ceramic acrylics pro hybrid coating. This is actually what's on my ski currently. The reason I use that instead of the marine spray or hybrid spray coating is because this is an acrylic overlay uh, on top of the gel coat system. The CM Tech stuff is an acrylic overlay. So because of that, I went with something more design, more geared towards automotive paint. Now, as far as gel coat goes uh, for your boats and whatnot, the hybrid spray coating would be what you want. It actually has an additional polymer in it uh, to hydrate gel coat better than the actual hybrid spray coating. Now, you can use both of them on boats, no problem at all. Um, if your finish is not absolutely perfect on your gel coat, you'll find that this will hydrate better and make it look a little better than the hybrid spray coating. But if you're polishing your boat before you want to apply some easy and awesome protection, um, then you can go ahead and use the hybrid spray coating, no problem. So the salt barrier product is what I sprayed all over the engine bay. I usually leave uh, the one coating on the engine for I don't know, three or four times I ride, I, I, I don't spray the engine down every time. I leave it sealed unless there's an issue is what I'm getting at. So salt barrier, that's the product I spray all over the engine. It removes water out of its way and it prevents salt from getting on any of your parts. Uh, electrical components, I mean, I literally pull the cap off my um, 
my electrical box, my fuse box inside the ski, and I spray all in there to make sure all those contacts stay good and uh, all the connections are good. Uh, and this basically resists corrosion so that you don't have any issues uh, moving forward of, of the salt corroding anything. So salt barrier is that product, uh, but the marine hybrid spray coating uh, is awesome for boats. This particular situation, like I was telling you, is the Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid Coating. So I'm going to finish spraying the, the ski down. <laughs> this stuff bees like mad, guys. It's awesome. I'm going to give you a close-up real quick, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll have a few more words to say after I get all the salt off of it. Notice how nice the beads are, how tight they are. That's one application. I've ridden this thing four times and rinsed it four times with no bath in between uh, at this very moment. And this is how well it beads. You'll notice the plastic all beads up. I put it all over the trim, all over the stickers, all over the seat. I mean, look at that. You can definitely tell it's there. The cool part about this is one eight ounce bottle is $39.99 shipped to your door. So that includes the shipping at detailjuice.com. $39.99. One application takes about five minutes to, to do. And if you do that breakdown, what's that? So you'll get 64 applications. I will say 32. 32. So every time you apply this to your ski, it costs you less than a dollar. I mean, and you can get it cheaper than that if you find it on sale, you know, if we ever do sales or whatever at detailjuice.com, which sometimes we do. I have a group on Facebook, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, if you guys are interested in being a part of that. Um, it's, it's all about detailing, all about my products uh, and my products only. But there's, there's no mistake that this thing has some protection on it. I would not use hydrophobic ability uh, as the end all be all of protection, I literally could wipe some mineral uh, mineral oil or something like that all over the surface, or mineral spirits, I should say, all over the surface, which is a solvent, and it will bead like that too. So I wouldn't use that as the end all be all. My point is, these are the beads that you get from the Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid Coating, and I've applied it three weeks ago and four rides ago, and it still beads like a champ. Uh, and again, I'm not even washing this thing with soap, which you should, you should definitely do that, but I generally do not. I just give her a hose down, and then I give her a wipe down, whether it's with the Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid Boost, which is all I'm using on this ski. I mean, this is the test bed, you know, and I intend on keeping it for a while, so. Uh, you know, in two, three years, you're gonna see how fantastic it looks uh, from using these products. But for now, if you want this stuff, it's at detailjuice.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up and I'll probably have more to say at the end. But for now, I gotta get to work. All right, guys, that's it for me here in Key Largo. We're heading out tomorrow. Uh, and we're done with the ski while we're down here. Gonna few more days to go before we're complete in the keys but I wanted to show you guys how I take care of my ski yet again because uh, you know I did another video on it there's another one out there uh, and that's so that's how it's my process when I pull it out of the water I get all my gear out I set it all on the ground I spray the gear down I clean out the um, storage compartment and that kind of thing and then I go right into flushing the engine out per the sea -Doo directions. And then right after I deal with that, clean the intake grate out if there's anything in it, um, I'll go ahead in and start spraying it all down. In between time, there's nothing wrong with adding another coat of the Ceramacrylics Pro Hybrid Coating or like I mentioned, the hybrid spray coating from the Marine Series uh, is a very similar product. Uh, you could use this uh, as well. It's a little bit less expensive as far as um, the retail price on the 16 ounce bottle uh, currently is uh, $49.99. The retail price on the eight ounce bottle of the uh, Hybrid Pro spray coating from the Ceramacrylics line is 
$39.99 for an eight ounce bottle. So a little bit better value uh, with the spray hybrid coating in the Marine Series, but it is not the same protection. Uh, the Ceram Acrylics line is the max protective line in my entire range. So uh, if you want the best, choose those products. Currently there are four. There's a rinseless wash, a shampoo, the boost, which is uh, the spray coating, and then the actual coating itself. So uh, choose the one that makes you feel the best. Uh, those are the products right there on the ski. Also, you must have the salt barrier if you're gonna be in, well, it doesn't matter where you're at. The reality is in freshwater, it's potential to get uh, contaminants and that kind of junk inside the um, inside of the hull also. So it doesn't hurt to protect your engine and your electrical components from uh, water breach or salt. So uh, you can use a salt barrier fresh or salt water, but it's mainly geared towards your salt water uh, engines and that kind of thing where that's that that level of corrosion is a uh, concern. So anyway, I'm literally going to just uh, use a, uh, a foam cup to scoop the water out of the foot wells and I'll probably just let it go ahead and dry. Um, because it might have some water spots on it later, I may go ahead Oh, I hate to do that. I hate to even say I'm going to put anything else on there. I probably won't because I just want to do a longevity test on that one application of the uh, Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid Boost. Um, it, the reality is I've seen it last over a year in salt water. Uh, before it was released, uh, I, I did some demos and I did some details on some smaller boats that see salt water. Actually, two of them are charter captains uh, with flats boats in Tampa Bay. So that stuff's last and last and last but i want to do a longevity test myself on this particular ski uh this like i said is my personal ski i do use it for business but it is the one that i purchased for me to use so uh we're, we're gonna see how it holds up i know it's gonna do well because we've already tested it uh but i want to just show you guys via these videos uh how well it's doing as time progresses but Thank you guys so much for watching. If you uh, want to check out more about my products, you can check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we only talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Uh, or you can check me out uh, on detailjuice.com. You can see all the item descriptions and that kind of thing. My cell phone number is 813-846-4406. What other product line manufacturer on the planet gives you his personal cell phone number to help you with your detailing endeavors whenever you request some help nobody but me thank you guys so much for your trust and support if you got questions for me use the phone number that's why i give it out or send me a message on facebook send me a text message leave me a voicemail whatever you need to do if i can help you let me know thanks again guys and have a wonderful day